Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We bless you for the day. Mm. Oh, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood, blood of Jesus. What can make me roll again? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes, makes me white, white as snow. Oh, and I found, I know nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Greetings to you. How I manage this to prevent you from telling For my pardon, this I see Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus For my cleansing, this my plea Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes, makes me white, white as snow. No other fans, I know nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, nothing but the blood. It's only but the, blood, the shed blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. There is nothing that can save you. That brings salvation unto man except the blood of Jesus. It's only the blood of Jesus. You should be done with him. The Bible said if I take it by the blood. Oh, it is by the blood that victory was won in heaven. Mm. This is my, all my work and peace. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me but as oh, no other fans, I know nothing, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you. We give you all the praise, we give you all the adoration. We thank you for yet again another day of glory, another day before your presence. We pray the Lord you minister to us. Your word says, not unto us, not unto us, but unto thy name we give praise. As servants look unto master, and may servant unto mistress, so we look to you. Speak to us. Your word says, if you, the Lord don't build the house, they that be build in vain. We have come. Bless us in Jesus' name. Once again, we bring you greetings from God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord open the heavens unto you. May the Lord cause every word of God concerning your life to come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. It is our prayer that day by day, the Lord through His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, will help you to discover your purpose and the will of God for your life. Remember, God says that I know the thought I have for you, not evil, to give you a future and a hope. God knows what is good for you. He is the one that created heaven and earth. I every day say, and I will continue to say, if this God who created heaven and earth, the one who created heaven and earth, the Bible says in the beginning the earth was formless, and the Spirit of God was moving all over and over the surface of the earth, and God said, let there be, and there was. If this God who is the Alpha and Omega, if this God who is the creator of everything, his other name is Elohim, the creator, if this God is leading you in life, if God is leading you in life, do you think that you miss this life? 
He is every, the Bible says if the ways uh, the Lord pleases your ways, He order your steps. And so if God is leading you this life, my brother, my sister, nowhere will you fail in this life. And so it is our prayer that somebody, you allow the Spirit of God to lead you in this life. That is our prayer for you. That you allow yourself for the Spirit of God to lead you. And you will receive a blessing. There is no one that can lead you better than the Holy Spirit. Jesus said it was expedient for me to go. If I don't go, the comforter will not come. And when he comes, he will guide you and direct you into all truth. My prayer is that you allow yourself for the Holy Spirit to lead you. Remember, we are in fasting and prayer. And today is the ninth day. A day to some grow. And then our, the ninth day of our fasting and prayer, letter by letter, we are heading on. And we are winning in the power of the Holy Ghost. I feel, I feel, I feel that I, 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 I feel the presence of God, and I am every day happy. Because another day, there is your opportunity to gain strength and breakthrough in the presence of God. The only person in the Bible, one of the people in the Bible that we can learn from, is David. David will always inquire of the Lord, no matter what comes his way. And so David said, "By my God, I have run through a troops." and have leaped over a wall. Before I came, I was listening to a man of God, his message, and he was giving a testimony. Daniel Lukoya, Lukoya, mountain of fire. And he said that the greatest weapon, the powerful weapon that has given to any man on earth is prayer. Everybody knows prayer works. And every Christian, every child of God knows that prayer works. How many people pray? The Muslim pray five times. The Jewish pray three times. How many times... As a Christian, do you pray? Some people, you have to force them. Other people, when they are coming to pray, they think that they are coming to pray for the pastor. They sit down. You sit down. One day, you live to regret. One day, you, you, you come to a point that you know that how many opportunities you, you've missed in life for you to go before God in prayer. The psalmist says, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry. Carry everything to God in prayer. Our sins and griefs. At times, we have to carry everything to God in prayer. But how many people? People are saying a bomb prayer. Ask yourself, are you a woman of prayer? Or a man of prayer? Today I want to talk about there is an error. There is an error. There are many people. God has a predestined destiny for you. We are talking about time to change my family destiny. Time to change my family destiny. God wants you to stand up as a man and as a woman of God. To begin to change some of the things that is wrong in your life. Wrong in your children's life. Wrong in your family's life. Wrong in your wife's life or your husband's life. You have that power and the authority to begin to change it. And you can change it through the Holy Spirit. Luke 1 and the verse 37. The Bible says with God all things are possible. People that have come to him must believe that he is. And he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. They seek him. They found him. This is my prayer for you. There are many people and that they are they are they are the real destiny that they were created their purpose in life they are in, in their wrong they are at the wrong places they are wrong jobs they are in their wrong places the enemy has switched them from their right for places and they are now in the wrong places it is not your portion <laughs> get up and walk to your right place and may the Lord give you that strength and that power to win in the name of Jesus. Except people who have the Spirit of God who realize. You have to stand up as a child of God and as a woman of God and begin to pray. And bring things to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go 
and read our scripture, our main scripture for the day, and we'll come back. The scripture is Judges, Judges chapter 6, and we read verse 25. We continue to talk about Gideon and the Israelites, how they were impoverished by the enemy because of sin. The Bible said God gave them to their enemies, the Midianites, for six to seven years, seven years. And so by the, all these years, they were controlled and ruled and remote by controlled by their enemies. They sat down and their enemies were detecting for them. The Bible says that it came to a time when they farm, their enemies will come and destroy it. it, it I can imagine it. Very sad and very terrible. I don't know what you are going through, but it's time for you to say enough. It's enough. My time of glory has come. I have to sit at my right place. The will of God for my life has to come to pass. The will of God for your life has to come to pass. The it will not come on silver platter. You have to rest for it. Jacob has to change his destiny. The Bible says that Jacob was somebody who was carrying blessing. Through every means, he obtained blessing. But the blessing was not coming to pass until he has to wrestle with the angel of God. And so my brother, my sister, don't sit down and fold your hands and think that life will come to pass like manna. Just sit down and give excuses. There are people, they have excuse for everything in life. For even their own success, they have excuse for it. You see that? My prayer is that you will understand. Understand life, life, life. Understand that life is spirit. Again, understand that life, this life is spirit. The unseen controls the natural. That is why the Bible says that for we look for a city that is not built by hands. Uh, whose, build, uh, whose builder is the Lord? Life is spirit. Understand that life is spirit. The life that we are living on this earth is, is just something that we see. But the real life is detected in the spiritual realm. That is why the Bible says we walk in the flesh, but we do not wrestle against the flesh. The Bible says for we wrestle against principalities and powers and evil spirits. And do you believe that the devil is there? Do you believe? Yes, you believe it. But you are sitting down, folding your hands and giving excuses. Hey, today I want to talk to you. The arrow that is on earth. Somebody, if you don't pray, somebody will exchange your destiny. They, they will push you to a place that you don't like. I every day tells you, and I continue to tell you, there is no child that will, will say, I want to grow to destroy my life. I want to take on a life to destroy my life. Somebody will destroy you. They are very wicked. Hey, the society that we come from, the families that we come from, there is wickedness. Household wickedness. Hey, one three more thing. I was running near my community. Three more thing. Three more thing. We are so wicked. It is in the church. There are even some pastors. There are uh, many of them have come in. They don't have good spirits. They don't have good spirits. I thank God. I thank God that hey, we are in to win souls for Christ. And so you have to pray. I was so bumpy. Christ only would hear me. Mommy, I was so bumpy. I was a woman when he now bumpy. Let me read Judges chapter 6 and I'll read verse 25. Uh, we jump back. He said that. And it came to pass the same night, night, that the Lord said unto him, God was talking to Gideon, Take thy father's young bull, even the second bull lock of seven year old, throw down the altars of her that thy father had, and cut down the gloves that is my eight. And so God told Gideon purposely that go into your father's house. There is something in the father's house that I don't like. The foundation, the foundation. There is an, a, a, an altar of Baal in your father's house. Go into the half house and bring it down. When you bring the altar down, I will begin to exalt my, your family and begin to exalt you. It is my prayer that you know that life Life, destiny can be exchanged. There are many people that their destiny have taken away from them. They have been taken away from them. Today I want to talk about a woman and a, a man, a prophet. They were in the church, church of God. And the Bible said that this man died and he was in debt. 
wo bia wo ye o di fo a o te nyame aso re fie na e ke twa ne ho ashia ke twa ne ho ashia we be in the wrong place at the wrong time let me go back to a christianess we want to talk about the christianess i dey be am catch it and i will continue to tell christians you see how tell christians there is no way in the bible that the bible say lack of prayer my people perish lack of prayer i am not saying prayer is very good Hey, the Bible is a lack of knowledge, understanding. And so when you come to Christ, if you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, seek the knowledge. Allow yourself. A Christian who sit down and folds his hands, hey, hands 24 hours, my brother, my sister, you become poor. You become poor. A man of God who comes into the kingdom of God in order to gain. My brother, my sister, it's a high calling. It's a holy calling. They were that call. I have come to understand that this call is a holy calling, and and it is a high calling. You come into the Lord Jesus Christ to do His will, not for your own gain. There are many people that they are in wrong positions, wrong places. It is my prayer that you know, understand this gospel, understand your call, understand the reason why you come to the ministry. Jesus said, "Hear me." The child of God, I came that you may have life, and so the most important is your salvation, internal life in the Lord Jesus Christ. When you seek it, everything will be added unto you. Everything will be added unto you. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. I want to read verse 5 and through 7. Solomon, the richest and the knowledgeable king that ever lived, Solomon said, There is an evil which I have seen under the, the sun. Solomon was saying, there is an evil hey, <laughs> and an error which proceeds from rulers. Hey, your destiny, you, it is time for you to realize the destiny that God has prepared for you. Many are men trust you. Christian here with you, men trust it. 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 Men Stand up and go and work. Don't listen to people. Don't listen to people. Go and work. If you are a man of God and you can do something, do it. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. The only thing you cannot do is to rob people. Use the ministry as an advantage. Because everything that you do, you answer for it. You answer for it. Solomon was saying, I have seen an error. Yes, there is an error. You look into the society, you look into the world. You see how there are some women, how beautiful and how they are. Some of them cannot even get marriage. Some of them cannot get marriage. But you go and you see, there are some, some even women, hey, when you look at their face, you, you, you bow down, you cannot look at their face. Sorry for me to use. Some of them, they are shapeless. Some of them. But go and see the marriage that they have. Go and see the marriage that they have. There are some people, they are not, hey, many rich people on earth are not educated. They are, even when they are educated, they don't have the highest education. They don't have the highest education. Go to the universities. The professors. I every day tell people it is not common sense. That is why God visited Zerubbabel in Zechariah 4 and showed him the lampstand and told Zerubbabel in Zechariah 4 and verse 6. He said, It is not your mind, it is not your power. But by the Spirit, see, is the Lord. Life is spirit. Understand the life. This life is spirit. You cannot win it by your strength. That is why in Ecclesiastes 11, go and read 9. He said, the race is not for the swift. And so the battle for the wise, the battle for the strong, bread for the wise. Everything happened by chance. And so don't think that, that you, I can win and stand up. There are many people that are winning the spirit, the kind of spirit behind their success. You, you, cannot, you cannot get there. You cannot, you cannot get there. And so thank God, me, I don't envy anybody. I don't envy anybody. And I thank God, I, I, don't, I don't envy anybody and I would never envy anybody. One, one of the things I pray for is the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. I thank God for this ministry. I thank God. I, I pray for any man of God. I pray for any man of God. And I have come to understand there is no challenge. And there is no challenge. Solomon said that I, there is an evil under this earth. And there is an error proceed from rulers. I have seen that there is an error. What is the error? It's a folly. The fool is set in great dignity and the rich in low places. 
Because there are many men and women of God that have come to the Lord Jesus Christ. That have come to Christ. That the enemy has exchanged what belongs to them. They are rightful owner of the things in life have been exchanged. If you have come to Jesus Christ, do what the word of God has commanded you to do. You don't want to do it. I every day tell people, I tell the men and women of God that preaches, there is no magic in the kingdom. There is no magic in the kingdom of God. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my command. When you look into the Bible, one of the things that God told the Israelites for them to be a peculiar people is to obey him. Obedience, being obeyed. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and look, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and the Lord will direct your paths. Go and read Proverbs 19 and the verse 21. The Bible says, many are the plans in a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord stands. The counsel of the Lord. And so, the will of God stands. You, if you have come to the Lord, my brother, my sister, try to do the will of God. There is no other way but to trust and obey God. Learn to trust God. Learn to trust God. Learn to, 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 to obey Him in every way. Learn to meditate upon His word. Learn to listen to the small still voice of the Holy Spirit. You will get there. Every purpose of God will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I am talking about an error. There are many people, their destiny has been taken away. Somebody has told him, life is spirit. Hey, there, are, there are, is another world that all that they do is to destroy. The language that the devil understands is to destroy. The Bible says, Jesus said in John 10 and the verse 10, that the enemy, the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is the language that the devil understands. You cannot change it. You cannot change them. That is how they are. Because he wanted to overthrow God. And the Bible says when he was cast, cast even up, down, when you read, go and read Revelation. I read the scripture. And let me go and read Revelation chapter 12. And I'll read verse 12, verse 10. And see what? When the devil left heaven, with the, <laughs> the kind of voice that shouted, Revelation chapter 12. When the devil left heaven, see, he says that. And I heard a voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength. The kingdom of our God and the, the power of our Christ for the accuser of bread and is cast down, which accuses them before God day and night. And so, even in heaven, when the devil was cast down, he said, Now has come salvation. And he and, and the Bible continues, says that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the, the word of his testimony. And when you read, he says that woe to the earth, he said, Woe to those who dwell in the earth. And those, those who are in the earth. And so, <laughs> there is a big war. The language that the devil understands is to destroy. And so, you, if you don't, you, you don't pray, if you don't do the will of God, my brother, my sister, they are very wicked. They are very wicked. Very wicked. And my prayer is that you understand. Solomon said, I have seen an error. An error that proceeds from rulers. That the rich, the rich are, sit, are sitting in low places. What those who are supposed to sit in places that God has prepared for them, they don't have a place. And he said, I have seen servants upon horses and prince walking as servants upon the earth. May the Lord have mercy on us. May the, the children of God begin to realize their rightful positions in the Lord. Hey, you cannot, you cannot use your strength to gain it. You cannot use your own knowledge to gain it. You cannot, you can be the wisest person on earth. It is through the Holy Spirit. Maybe, maybe you have the spirit of the devil. When, when you come to the devil, when you go to the devil, the devil will easily bless you. Go and read Matthew chapter 4. Read verse 6. Jesus Christ, when he was tempted, the devil told him, Jesus, if you bow to me, I will give the, the nation to you. And so there are people who are bowed to the devil. They easily go to Africa. Many, many people are, are reaching themselves through different and means. That does not make you a happy man. The only happy and joy is in the Lord. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. My brother, my sister, I want us to talk about a man of God who died. The Bible says he was a prophet. Let's go to 2 Kings. The Second Kings. And I'll read 2 Kings verse 4. Verse 1. Go in. The Bible says now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of prophets unto Elisha. Hey, this man was a prophet. 
and not in our days as prophets. Most of the days prophets, they are all they, they are all sorcerers. They are they have evil spirits. Most of them, most of them, most of them, especially all of them that come from Kumasi, most of them that come from Kumasi, my own boys. They most of them. They don't have good spirits. They, they are all sorcerers. When you they, when we were growing, when you go to the market, the magicians that will walk, they have all put on seats and they have all moved into a crowd to deceive people. May the Lord have mercy on them. And so this was a wife of a prophet. And the Bible is saying that this woman was crying and running to the man of God, Elisha. What was her reason? Hey, he said that there is a folly, a great, great dignity. Men of wise men and women are sitting. Hey, somebody, I every day tells you, you go, there are people that have no education. They are making it. Wild people in the education, they don't have anything. I every day tells you, understand this. There may be two people working in the same job. They receive the same salary. But you go to one house, one is blessed more than the other. I have seen two doctors that do the same job. One is blessed more than the other. I have seen two nurses. I have seen two engineers. I have two, seen two masons and two carpenters. Life is spirit. Understand. Understand that life. It's the spirit. And except those who will understand. That is why. That is why the Bible says those who are led by the spirit of God are the children of God. And so if you don't allow yourself to be led by the spirit of God. Woman, listen to me. A child of God, listen to me. You cannot win this battle of life. You cannot win it. We, I pray for you that you be empowered. Do you know that Jesus told the disciples the secret to success? Jesus told them the secret to success. Go and read Luke chapter 24. Go and read verse 40. Jesus told them, hey, don't leave Jerusalem until you receive the promise of the Father. Don't leave. Because you cannot win it. You cannot win it. The enemy that you are fighting, you cannot see that enemy. Hey, I every day tell that, that the enemy can be standing with, beside you, throwing st stones, but you have, you cannot see. All that you can see is the impact of your blues. You can feel that there's something wrong around your life. There's something wrong around your life. And so in order to overcome them, you just hand over your life to Jesus Christ. The same thing happened when the Israelites got to the Red Sea. Go and read Exodus chapter 13. And when you enter in verse 14, when they got to the Red Sea, they had no choice. Some started crying. Some started lamenting. Some wanted to go back to Egypt. The same people prayed that God help us. God, we are tired. Our bandages are heavy for us. In this world also. The same people, because they confronted the Red Sea, some of them wanted to go. Told Moses it was better for us to die. God told them the secret. Stand still in me. When you stand still in me, you see my salvation. And the Egyptian that you see, you will not see them no more. Jesus told the disciples not to leave Jerusalem. Go and wait for the promise of the Father. When the promise come, he said, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost come upon you. And you shall be my disciples. You will be moving from one generation to another. Winning souls and conquering because of the Spirit of God. Hey, the same thing that the angel of the Lord told Mary. Told Mary in Luke chapter 1, read verse 35. Say, in this life, Mary said, I am a virgin. I cannot. How can this be possible? So you shall be overshadowed by the Holy Spirit. Life is spirit. A child of God, life is spirit. Many at here, I probably will get now. Yeah, can we want to go for? And not that I'm going for numbs, what will be sick at all. Be sick at all. Because we'll be the same. We'll do more thing. We'll do more thing. We'll do more thing. I know. There are some, some of us, there are people who stand up. And they are, they are, their duty is always to fight us. They know that they cannot win you physically and so spiritually. But thank God that we don't have the spirit to fear, but the spirit to say, Abba Father, I pray that you'll understand. Solomon said, I have seen servants upon horses. How, how is it possible? And the prince walking and sleeps because children of God have forgotten to do what is right. They have forgotten and they don't want to do it. Some of them because of the brightness of their heart. Some of them think that they really know the Lord and God. Some of them think that they are wiser than anybody on earth. My brother, my sister. 
Can you be wiser than the one who created heaven and earth? The one who says, let there be. I thank God every day, every day man, that I grow. The older I grow, the more I believe the word of God. The more my faith grow was great in the Lord Jesus Christ until he come or call us from this earth. Somebody sang a song that says that we have no agreement that Jesus died. There is no argument. There is no argument. <laughs> Jesus died. Hallelujah. You cannot argue. I have no other argument. I have no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. My brother, my sister, you don't have any argument. You cannot argue and you will never win. You will never win. You will never win. You will never win. My prayer is that you know. This woman, the, the Bible said the husband died, a prophet, and the servants. It says that now the, the, there cry a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elijah, saying, Thy servant, my husband is dead, and thou know that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors is coming to take unto him my two sons to be a bond. Very sad. Do you know? that this man was not the only prophet he said that he was part of the prophets why not other prophets but my brother my sister let me tell a christian a child of god hey if you come to the lord jesus christ and you don't have knowledge you continue to sit down hey there are many people it is not them because of the doctrines and the teachings of many men of god many men of god a man of god will tell you it will tell you if you don't come to church on Sunday, you go to hell. Hey, that man of God don't know the Bible. Hey, don't I, I, let me be honest to you. That man can be an archbishop. He can be. He can be an apostle. He can be apostle because in America, some people I know their work schedule will not come, allow them to come to church every Sunday. They work every other day, and this they will cause them to feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. When you have to go work on Sunday, go. The only thing that you feel guilty is that you have the opportunity to go and worship God and you don't go. But if you have to work, go and work. I every day tell, tell Christians, you go and somebody has a store. A woman has a store. And will leave the store for a caretaker and say, I'm going to a prayer meeting. And go and when you come and that, that caretaker has taken your money, then you begin to fight. Senseless and that is what has made Christians poor because of the doctrines, because of how we teach them. My brother, my sister, the only thing that you feel guilty is when you begin to sin. Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. God hates sin. The Bible says, the blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The righteous, as everything is about the righteous. Walk in righteousness. And a relationship will be between you and heaven. You will never call. Heaven will answer. You will never call. Heaven will answer. Go and read Isaiah chapter 64, 64 65 and 74. He said, before you call, I answer. And why you, you, you are calling, I, I do it. He said, before you call, I hear. And why you pray, I answer. God knows his people. The Bible said, the eye of the Lord is running to and fro To show himself on people who heart is perfect. I pray that you know. This man was a prophet of God. But this man was in debt. He, this man died. And the woman has to run to Elisha that my, 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 my children are being taken from me. I pray that uh, you will not sit in, in the wrong place. There are many people in this life, they are sitting in the wrong places. Somebody has exchanged their destiny, their rightful. There are many people, their rightful wives and husband has taken away from them, has been taken away from them and given to somebody because you are not vigilant. You are not vigilant. There are many men and women, all that they know is excuses. Everything is wrong for them. Every, even good things may be wrong for you. By the time you realize, somebody has taken it. Somebody has taken it. I know a woman who is fighting with another woman. Saying that that woman has come for, for her husband. Her husband. And you see, I am a witness. I know. Why? When the, that woman was, was in that relationship, that woman was not vigilant always problem always leaving the house always leaving the house 
always leave in the house. God gave you a good husband. God gave you a God-fearing husband. But because you were not vigilant, you were not wise. You allowed the devil to take it away from you. So another woman has come and taken it. And now you stand everywhere and fight. You never win. You never win. If you are not vigilant and you are not careful, yeah, something that belongs to you will be taken away from you. This woman was married to a prophet, but they were in debt. Debt was around them. And so the creditors were chasing them. And the woman had to run to the, to the prophet. The first thing I want to <coughs> that she did something. Seven principle. She ran to the, the right person. I every day pray to people. One of the things that you have to do, uh, go to the right place. I tell you that not every church you have to go. Don't go to every church. Don't see these men and their prophets sighing and lying to you. Then you begin to follow them. You'll be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And you never receive any blessing. This woman ran to the right, right place. Hey, a child of God, listen to me. Somebody listen to me. If you want to receive blessing, if you have come to realize, pray that God direct me to a right place. Go to a place that you yourself can pray. Go to a place where you feel the presence of God. Even if you are walking in sin, <laughs> the, the Spirit of God will put a conviction within your spirit to leave that sin. Because you cannot serve two masters. The Bible says, Jesus said, you cannot serve two masters. Either you please one and forgo the other. And so if you are come to the Lord Jesus, look to him. He's the only one. He's the alternative finisher of our feet. My prayer for you run 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 to the right person jesus said in matthew 11 and verse 20 28 that, that come to me come to me oh he that labor and i'll give you rest i am talking about destiny i am talking about a family destiny there are many families our families that have been destroyed be destroyed because of our greedy and selfish grandmothers great grandmothers and fathers who never talked of the future they thought of themselves and, and destroy the foundation and has become a burden to the next generation like Esau. Esau, Esau never thought of the future, thought about right now give me food and I'll be okay my prayer is that you realize some of us we are praying and we know that our, our next generation will live, will live a happy life because we are breaking and we are living the rightful life for them in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I am talking about the destiny Taking it upon yourself and changing your family destiny. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. Hey, run. She ran. She ran to Elijah. Elisha and said, My father, my father, you must have a father, not a godfather. You must have a father. You must have a father, not a godfather. If I have a father, and that father is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, My father in heaven it is God your father. It's God your father. I'm a father. Run to Jesus. Run to God. Run to God. Run to God. Come to him in prayer. In this life you win. Let God be your father. Come to him. His, his hands are open. In Revelation 3 in the verse 20. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone will open on me, I will come unto him. He's looking for somebody to bless show himself strong. Don't allow the devil. Understand life is spirit. Life is spirit. Understand life is spirit. She knew that her father, he ran. The Bible says that this woman went and Elijah said unto her, Elijah said unto her, that, 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 that what shall I do for you? The second thing, discover yourself. There are many people, they have not discovered themselves. They have not owned them. I every day tell people that nobody can, you cannot change anybody. And so there are many men and women. You are going into marriage, you see, you see a red flag, you see an impediment. You say, I'll go in. You go. If the person is not ready, until the person accepts his or her situation, he, he, he will never change. He will never change. It's only God. It's only God. There are many women. I know many women, they were going to marry. And some people will tell them, hey, they, they will do overlook. They will look at the situation of that man and say, that man is going to change. You sit down. I, I, let, I learned a story about a woman who was a Christian and told a man that until you marry me, I will never allow you to, 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 to sleep with me. Until, and, and the woman did not look at the guy's background. All that she wanted is marriage. And the, the guy said, okay. 
came and did everything. Did everything, performed every, everything. They got married. The man slept with the woman. After they slept two, three months, he, he, he left the woman. Why? He said, you, you want me to perform it? You see, there are some people, they have evil heart. They don't care. They, they, all they need is to destroy you. My brother, my sister, begin to think as God things. Begin to think as a child of God. Don't allow, discover yourself until you come to a time that you discover that these, some of the things I'm doing is, is not right, it's not wrong. Nobody can help you. Even God himself, God will never force himself on you. And God has never forced himself on anybody. Go and read Luke chapter 19. The Bible says when Jesus was passing, it was Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus has, 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 been, has been, been a trust collector for many years. But that day, that fateful day, the Bible says he ran and climbed and seek a bone three. Jesus got there and said, today salvation has come to your house. Salvation. Because Zacchaeus begin to repent nobody can help you until you begin to help yourself nobody can help your destiny the family destiny to change your children destiny your husband your wife you cannot change anyone i accept the person i accept this woman he said what she can do in her potential she discovered that there is a great potential in her she discovered all that she needed to do is to run run to the right place run to the right place Go to the right church. Go to the right men and women of God. The sad thing is that when you, they come to you and they see that you are only praying, you know, you not tell them, you not lie to them. Me, I would not lie to you if I'm not seeing that. I will, if I'm not, I've not seen it, I will not tell you. I will not tell you. I will not lie. And so when they come and you tell them go and pray, they will not come back again. They will go to the, those who tell them, oh, I I saw in your village lies, lies. They are all evil. They are sorcerers. How can a man of God I enter your kitchen? I entered your background. They are evil. Tell them that I said they are evils. Then somebody will say, How long did you preach? How, how, how long have you been preaching? You see them. I have sat in the church. I have preached many years. And I have come to this point. You are telling me I am young. You see you them. Try on my ministry, dear bro. You know. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Discover yourself and begin to change. If you don't change, I can give you many instances of men and women. Men and women. That's so. And they went in. I know a Christian woman that went and married, married a Muslim man. I know a Christian man that went and married a, Christ, a Muslim woman. And after they got married, and the, the pastor, the woman says that I'll go to my church, I'll go to the mosque, and the man of God was well, every day, he, he was lonely and that is why the Bible says we should be vigilant and be watchful, because our adversary the devil is roaming like a lion my prayer for you, discover yourself woman, discover yourself man discover and know that the, the things that are wrong in your life and begin to change, because if you don't change, the Lord will come he told the church, if you don't repent, I will take your lampstand from you. I will take it from you. And when the Lord takes his hand from you, what are you going to do, a child of God? Man, what are you going to do? Everything. I pray that you begin to identify, identify your needs. Identify. At, at times, if you don't identify your needs, nobody can help you. you identify. Identify the needs of the family. Go into your own family. You see, let me go. Let me go and, and tell you something about Gideon. Gideon was able to tell the angel of the Lord. Tell the angel of the Lord. Know that when the angel of the Lord, let me go and read. Let me go and read Judges. I want to read Judges and see how Gideon communicated. Gideon communicated with the angel of the Lord. He, he was able to communicate, telling the angel of the Lord. Verse, let me restart from verse 6. And Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. The children of Israel cried unto the Lord. And it came to pass that when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites, the Lord sent a prophet unto the children of Israel, and which said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, I have brought you up from Egypt, and brought forth out of the house of bondage, and I will deliver you out of. And I said, unto you i am the lord let's go to verse 11 and read and there came an angel of the lord and sat under an oak which was an off opera <laughs> the 
ordained unto jo uh, Josh, Abiza, and his son Gideon. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, Oh, my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all these things befalling us? Why then? Gideon began to realize some things. Are you sure the Lord is with us? If the Lord is with us, are you sure? There are some people, when you are preaching faith into their lives, they begin to doubt because of what is going on. They look into their families and they look, everything is possible before God. My brother, my sister, Gideon said, if the Lord is with us, why are we going through all this? My brother, my sister, listen to me. The Bible says that, that, that sin will destroy a, a nation. Go and see, read the Bible. God told G uh, Cain that sin was at his door. Master it. Share bonny butu ababu ano. Di bonny so. Ken si ondi so. O si ondi so. All that Ken saw was the anger and 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 envious and jealousy that have already entered his heart. All that he wanted to do is to destroy. Nobody think about the consequence. I thank God for Papa Bright. Papa Bright, uh, send a message. My bro brothers, people, listen. The messages I every day tell people. Some people will be sending messages, but when it comes from a man or a woman of God who have the spirit of God, be careful and listen to it. It, it is wise. Hey, Papa Brad sent it and says that uh, hey, there is a law, the law of karma. People don't realize it. People don't realize it. Hey, I have never seen anyone that saw a seed of tomatoes and go and rip a banana. Hey, whatever you see, so you rip. I every day tell people. The seed that you sow today will be the fruit that you eat tomorrow. Be careful, be careful. People don't realize. People don't realize. Do something good and you, your life will never be the same. God visited him and said, no, no, God is not with us. Israel sinned and because of sin, that is why the Lord left them discover discover yourself and begin to realize the needs for your family go into the families look at the women look at the men look at their situation and begin to pray for them manos you if you don't pray if you continue to give excuses you'll be the same the same women the same your life will be the same your life will be the same not that you are educated hey i have seen many educated women that are working miserable men and women that are working miserable i have seen the uneducated sitting in in, in high position there are many uneducated they don't have any degree but they are able to break that demonic cycle and know that life is spirit life is spirit and so begin to begin to do what is right and the lord will give you victory the Lord will give you victory. Again, God told Zerubbabel, it is not by might, it is not by power, but by the Spirit of God. It is only the Spirit of God that brings victory. Brings victory unto man. Then this woman ran, ran to, to Elisha. Then this woman identified, identified her niece, her niece, and, and ran to Jesus. Go and read Mark chapter 10, verse 51. Blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus identified her knee, uh, sorry, his niece. He, he identified that he was blind. All that he needed from Jesus was to see. And so when the Bible says that when Jesus was passing, everybody was telling him, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. And blind Bartimaeus started shouting, God's son of man, have mercy on me. Have mercy. And people were shouting. People, my brother, my sister, nobody cares about you. There are some people, they, they, they will even thank God for you to sit in your problem. There are some people, they will be happy. Hey, preacher, Because there are many people. <laughs> but blind but, Bartimaeus, the Bible said blind Bartimaeus. They were shouting, blind Bartimaeus, keep quiet. Blind Bartimaeus, keep quiet. But Jesus, and then say, blind Bartimaeus, come. The only thing that different that blind Bartimaeus did, the Bible says she, he cast out his garment. Everything that was holding him, he cast and ran to Jesus. My brother, my sister, if you don't deny yourself, if you don't begin to cast your garment that is holding you, your thinking, 
You cannot come to Jesus Christ. You cannot worship him in spirit and in truth. It's only Jesus. It's only Jesus. Life without Jesus Christ is in crisis. There is no other way. There is no other way. The only way to life and the only way to happiness is Jesus Christ. There are many women, there are many men when they are coming up, they, they want to do everything. They want to get the whole world. I thank God for his, his spirit. I thank God for this insight. I am talking about an arrow. An arrow. An arrow. Solomon said there is an arrow. The, this prophet was sitting in the house of God with all debts. And the wife, the children has to be taken away. The woman identify and is identify and come to run to Jesus Christ. Be with good people. And this is the most important thing. There is a saying, show me your friend and I'll show you your character. You go and read 2 Corinthians 14 and read verse 6, six sorry, 6 and verse 14. He said, what a court as a Christian with an unbeliever. I every day thank God for his word. Luke chapter 6, 16, I think 16, verse 8. Jesus said the children of this world, generation are wiser than the children of the kingdom. The children of the kingdom. You never go into any worldly organization or programs and you see them doing anything about the gospel. But go to the church. Go to the church. Go to the Christian wedding. Recently, my, 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 my daughter asked me, Daddy, and so at my wedding, are you going to allow me to play worldly music? I said, girl, listen to me. And then she started laughing. I know you're not. I said, listen, I, I am not going to force you. But understand this. I, I started asking her a question. And he said, Daddy, I will do what you want for you. And I will do it for myself. My brother, my sister, there is a reason why there are many things. It is not sin. It is weight. But if you allow it, the devil will take an advantage and begin to destroy. There are many people who have come to the Lord Jesus Christ. They, there is no lukewarm. In the house of God. There is no middle. The Bible says either you are hot or cold. You are hot or cold. Hey, some, some, some of these teachings, it is nonsense to people. No wonder Jesus said few, 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 few. The narrow way, few people. Not every man of God knows the, the narrow way. Not every preacher knows the narrow way. Not every Christian. The proud cannot, the proud cannot enter heaven. The Bible says to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due time, you will lift you up. Be with good people. Don't surround yourself. I thank God. I thank God that that uh, me. If you don't want to walk with God, you cannot come close to me. That is our problem. The reason why my, our problem is all in the church. The church. My problem on earth is the church. All my problem on earth is the church because there are people in the church that will envy and jealous you. I pray. Be with good people. This woman was fortunate she was with good people and because he was with good people because of our time i want us to pray these days because we are fasting and praying i want us to pray that tomorrow i will continue and i will start talking about people who change their destiny they, they were born out of sorrow they were born out of pain somebody like jabez we will read it jabez was was born uh, not in you see you, you when you read the chronicles you see that the many ge genealogies were, were being mentioned names were mentioned when he got to jabez the, the story began to change because he did something extraordinary he started going to god if you have come to god walk with him love the lord do the right thing surround yourself with good people surround yourself with the right people people who love the lord somebody who can tell you let present spring not people who are jealous you no people who are jealous you. I said oh, pro my problem is in the church, the church, because you go to there thinking that you have got to the house of God. Every jealous and every destroy everything is in the church. Is in the church? Is in the church? Very sad, very sad. I pray that God will, will will use us as a vessel to clean the church as Jesus cleaned the church. Just clean the church as God, 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 Jesus cleaned the church, and we will do it. Not the church that God is raising. That is why the enemy is fighting, fighting against the church that we are left in. They said the devil is using people, even our children, our children, our, our wives, everybody. They were all against us. God bless you, Mammy Joseph and Benjamin Granting. The devil is using everybody. He's using them. They don't, nobody wants to help. Because the devil knows that when this church stands, people will come to Christ. Our children, some of our, our, our children, they don't want even to come. 
They don't want. They, they begin to lie because they will come and two people we are praying. They don't want. I pray that the Lord, but I have never seen the devil winning. The, last night I was praying and God was telling me, I'm bringing, I'm bringing people, I'm bringing destiny helpers that will help you to build this church. And the whole world will see that I am with you. Yeah, the whole world will see. The whole world will see. The devil is a liar. The devil has fought us from the day the two of us were born and continue to fight us. Yesterday we were in this battle of life. Whether the devil like it or not, Jesus is always with us. Jesus is always, always with us. Never give up and win this battle. God bless you. Barbara, Barbara has been also a support in our ministry for many years. The Lord, God bless you all. Those who are listening to us on the radio and everywhere, I, I, I every day tell people that God, 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 right, walk with good people that will lead you to Christ. I told my, my children that one day you, you live to regret if you don't realize the kind of father, the kind of father God has given to you. You see, I called one lady and I know she realized it. I called her. Her father, her father was one. Hey, hey, me, I don't have any pastor as my, 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 I don't have any pastor. I don't have any pastor that, that have inspired me. I have never, I, no pastor. I just, yes, I listen to their messages, but I don't have, hey, the one that inspired me in life and that inspired me is an elder, a dadapa. Adadapa, uh, uh, my sister, big sister, Adelaide, Aquanus, this, this, this man, Adadapa, Adadapa, the USD campus, Adadapa is someone that inspired me. I called her, and I called her, and then I'm uh, talking to the daughter, and they were uh, was happy. This was the only, only the man had no, was nameless, had nothing. But this man impacted our life. Impacted our life. My prayer is that it's somebody you know. It's not these end time pastors. These end time pastors. Uh, no one no inspires me. No one. No one inspires me. No one. <coughs> no one inspires me. I thank God for God. My prayer is that I will walk righteously. This woman will preach. I remember. I remember. The, uh, uh, Reverend Osekofi in Germany. And I'd like to say, open a, a, a prayer meeting in USD. The USD campus and Papa the power walk, the other power walk and went and gave a testimony. Oh, Nyami Chira Musa, my baby, my baby, I'm sorry, what happened? And then Krofo, we are my video, and we go go in the chair. A rare day. What we am by what here for? This man was praying for for the boys, and thank God, most of the guys that came out of USD, the campus, most of them are men and women of God. They preach the gospel. Some of us that people thought that we had no place going. Yes, we are carrying the mantle of Jehovah. Myself and my twin brother. My prayer is that you work with the right people. Work with the right people. I told my children, you, 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 hey, the reason why, don't think that we have to be, the enemy has fought us. The devil fought us. We have been fought by the family. We have been fought by the church. You know, every friend that came to our life wanted to destroy us. Every friend. Every friend that came to almost everyone. They, they did it and they couldn't. And they used people that are close to us. And so if it, our children don't want to come to the church, I told him, uh, we, uh, I told my son, don't think you are wiser than me. I told him, don't think you are wiser than me. I know, but I will not force you. But one time you stand there and see, you live to regret the kind of father you, you had, but you did not get closer to your father to gain wisdom and knowledge and gain the spirit of God. Because the enemy will deceive you. The enemy will deceive you. And people that get closer to us know how the spirit of God is upon our lives. And how do we love the Lord? That is why we are going through what we are going through. Because <laughs> the devil knows it. And through us, we will win souls for Christ. They started in the, everywhere. My brother, my sister, begin to change that destiny. Begin to change it. And begin to win for Christ. God is ever faithful. God is ever faithful. May the Lord bless you. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. And have time for God. But we never end our broadcast with that asking somebody to accept Christ as his or a personal savior. Accept this as a personal savior. The Bible says with the heart we believe and with the mouth confession is made that Jesus Christ is Lord. And so we want to pray with you. I want to pray with you.
that come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus Christ. And you, <laughs> the Bible says, the, 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 the God at Paul and Silas prison, they told them, he asked, what shall I do to be saved? He said, come to him, accept Jesus. And you and your household will have salvation. And so come, say this after, say, Lord Jesus, today, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Father, your word says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things are past, and everything has become new. As I've accepted you, and be your child, may you guide me. May you order my steps until you come. Or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, somebody, for saying that. Uh, my prayer is to find a church. Find a church. Go to a church where you find Christ. Go to a church where the Spirit of God will be upon you. Go to church where, when you sit down, the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Don't go to a church. Don't go to a church. I was, I, every day, there are good churches. There are good churches. But there are some churches who go there and you see the kind of spirit that the devil use get out from that church and go to a place. And so if you are living in Houston, Texas and you are looking for a church, come to our church. The Lord bless you. God bless you. Amen. Begin to pray. Let's pray. Today I want us to pray. Just begin to thank God. Be one on your mom pie. Be one on your mom pie. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Just thank God. Open your mouth. Begin to thank God. Bless the name of the Lord. Just open your mouth and begin to thank God. Just thank God with us. The Bible says the word of God cometh not in vain, but come to fulfill the purpose. Just open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you, Lord. I bless you. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory. I thank you and I bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, open your mouth. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Open your mouth and thank God. The pure mouth and tango, Mandora will rock a river, run the car at a bandere borraca bande zebranda, a papa de reborica, a bande reborroco, in the name of Riadaba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, a taco on the Riadaba, a condor of Boraca zebranda, Zonor of Ricadaba, a panda. Somebody thank God, thank God, thank God. O pure mouth and thank God, bless the name of the Lord, bless the name of the Lord, bless the name. O pure mouth and thank God. Just thank him. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We want to go to God. My brother, my sister, I want us to pray. There are many people, the first prayer that I want us to pray is for you to discover yourself. Again, if you don't discover yourself, you cannot change. You cannot change. Hey, Solomon said, I have seen an arrow. Under this hand, there is an arrow. arrow. The rich People who are supposed to reach spiritually are sitting in wrong places. Why the, the, those who don't deserve are in dig, uh, dignified positions? We are praying that Father, if there is anyone, anyone that uh, has exchanged your destiny, has changed your position, we are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We pray that we come against every work of the enemy. We come against every work of the enemy. That every work of the enemy against your life, we are praying that Father help me to identify, identify or discover myself. Help me to discover. If until you discover, you cannot change. And without changing, you cannot walk with God. The Bible says, "No, I walk with God. No, I walk with God." He had favor before God. Among all the people, it was only Noah that was saved in the days of Lot. That is why the Bible says that as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be. We are praying that, Father, help me to discover myself. Help me to discover my family. Help me dis discover uh, my, 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 my home. Help me dis discover my children. If you don't discover, you cannot pray for them. You cannot pray for your children. You cannot pray for your home. You cannot pray. We are praying. Open your mouth and pray with us. Open your mouth and say, God, help me. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, help me to discover myself. Help me to discover. 
Zebranda Raba, a Candor of Oregon, the Zebranda Zabo, a Panta Zebranda Raba, Opioma pray with us, Opioma. We are praying, we are praying, we are praying the Holy Ghost. Opioma pray, Opioma pray that God help me to discover myself until you discover yourself, until you discover what is in the family, until you discover your mother's family, your father's family, and begin to stand up. If you don't discover, you cannot win. Rapante Carabo, Rande Corabanda Riaraba, upon the Zebrande Corado Riaraba. Somebody pray with us, pray with us, pray with us. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Opium of and pray with us. Opium of the Holy Ghost. Help me to discover my life. Help me to discover my family. Help me to discover what is in my mother's family. What is in my father's family. What is in my husband's family. What is in my wife's family. Help me to discover. Until you discover, you cannot pray. And when you pray through, you will break through. You will definitely break through. In the name of Jesus, I every day say that every Christian know the prayer works. How many Christians call on the name of Jesus? Hey, oh, be your mouth. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Be one on David said, Lord, help me to know number my days that I may apply wisdom. Without knowing, you cannot apply the wisdom of God. Run the caraba, a pantasy brand or a rakandeba, a tantaraba, run the caraba, oh, banderebora casibona. In the name of Jesus, 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 run the caraba, a pantaraba ricande zebranda, run the carabande reboroco, a tanderebo rica de banda zebranda, a candarabo rica daba, a candarabo recande zebranda da borica, a tandabranda zonora borica daba. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, run the caraba, run the bande reboroca daba, a tandabranda zonora borica da bande. Ronde kada bonda briada ba, e kanto robo rika tabande re bora kada ba, e tandara ba rokande zebra. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Ronde kada da bande re bo she kabranda, e bandara bo rika tabande re bo ronde ka. In the name of Jesus, e bande re bo raka bande re ba, e pantara ba ronde kada ba. Somebody pray, opioma fem pray pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa help us to discover ourselves. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We are praying. We are praying against every demonic enemy. You see, this man was a prophet and was in the church of God, but was broke. My brother, my sister, it is not because this man of God did not have the spirit of God. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. And African Christianity, like African Christianity, everyone became a Christian and continued to sit down. Every day you hear them, oh, I went to the mountains, went to the mountain for 40 days without working. Then you come to the church and begin to beg. Then you say there is no God. African Christianity lies, 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 lies. And they will have all excuses. They have all excuses. My brother, my sister, if you don't work, you, 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 you grow poor. If you don't work, you grow poor. Hey, I have, I have not seen. Anybody that would tell me I prayed and God will come and put billions of cities in my room. It is not there. It is even if God does that, it is not scriptural. God cannot be the Bible says, for God is not a man that lieth. Has he said it? He will, not, will he not do it? God will not do it. Even the day that the manna fell, the manna did not fall in their rooms. They have to walk and go and gather. And even the concerning manna, there was a restriction. And so don't sit down. Don't sit down. I am not saying that it is not good to pray. You can pray, but work. We are praying that everyone that is fighting our life, every let me let's pray this prayer. Our conscience and our thinking. There are many people. Our we fail because of the way we think, the way we think, and there's some of the things that we think. And very sad, some of our men and women of God are so falling be a dear name. Abon zam fong kwa, abon zam fong kwa, abon zam fong kwa, abon zam fong kwa. We are praying that God help us to gain knowledge and wisdom. Help us to gain knowledge and wisdom. And every day tells them the day that the Lord opened my eyes to see, to see Houston Church of Pentecost. And elder, elder, I always tell people, I always tell people, yeah, yeah, problem, you know, you're sorry. Problem, you know, you're sorry. 
And thank God some of us we are able to, to realize this and come to the Lord Jesus and in the Lord we are doing what God. Yeah, Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth. Begin to pray. Pray. Pray into your life. Pray into the church. This, this. I pray more into the churches. Because they have covered themselves like they are Christians. They are elders. They are deacons. Some of them are pastors. They are evil spirits. They, have, they are very wicked. They are very wicked. They are very wicked. Very wicked. Last night, I saw, I saw in my dream. I saw one, one person who wanted to come and steal. And I hold him. The way I beat him in the dream. Oh, Pompa, you catch me, Rade, say Rade. Bay ye to me, whom be a bay ye home. Yes, so much, young girl, and a bomb pie. Open your mouth and pray, pray into your, your homes, pray into your life, pray. That every spirit, everyone that wants to exchange your life, they want to exchange it and bring poverty. They want to exchange your success. I every day tell people it is not how educated you are. There are many people that are educated. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the power of the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Pray the Spirit of God into every place. Those who are listening to us on the radio, open your mouth and pray. Be one of Paul. Uh, those on the Facebook pray, those uh, watching us on the YouTube pray, open your mouth and pray, pray, begin to pray, pray into your life, be one of vampire, you are able to change the family destiny, you are able to change it, man to the borakande banda, e pandora borakande zebranda, e pandora borandi kadaba, father in the name of Jesus, 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 E candora borra cande bonda raba e sindiri borra cande zebranda raba opi o mafe pre pre we are praying in the name of Jesus we are praying in the name of Jesus e tanta raba ndo branda e candora borra cande opi o mafe pre 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 opi o mafe pre pre against every spirit every demon every witchcraft every demonic gathering that have gathered for your for for your failure that is fighting your life that is fighting your family that is fighting you physically and spiritually Open your mouth, Father. I pray. I pray to you, the community. I pray to the churches. I pray to the pastors. I pray to my workplace. I pray to my family. Every envious spirit, every jealous spirit, every spirit that is fighting your children, fighting our marriages, fighting our children, fighting our church, fighting. May the fire of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. God bless you, my big sister, sister Fosti. Sister now granting God bless you for watching us all the way from uh, from Domai and Crow. Love you, sister. We continue to pray. We are praying. I want us to pray. There are many people. Their problems are the people who surrounding them. Their problem. Their problem are the people that surround them. Hey, surround yourself with people that can bring blessing. There are many people. They are filled with everything as the people. The people that surround them. Do you know that many people have lost their marriages because of the people that are around them? Do you know? You see, I, I, I heard a story about a man. A man whose home was destroyed. A man whose home was destroyed. This man is married. This man is married. And the, the friend, the friend, the friend will allow this man to bring the girlfriend, the friend and the wife will allow this man to bring the girlfriend into their home. Sleep with, sleep with the girlfriend in their home. I don't know. If I were, I was that woman of that, that man, I, I would be the first person because don't you think that if you, your, your husband is allowing a, a friend who is married to bring a wife, another girlfriend to, to sleep in your home, the same thing your husband would do. And right now, the, that home is also destroyed. Hey, you never saw, you never saw orange and go and rip a mango. The Bible says, God is no mock. Hey, when you read it, it says, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. For God is no mock. Whatever man so you reap. Whatever man so you reap. Surround yourself with people, with people that can tell you, let's go and pray. 
I every day say, if you don't want to walk with God, you cannot get closer to me. I told my children, I told them, I told them, I don't know. They know, they know they are that. Because everything I have on this earth, all my all is in on Christ. Somebody sang a song. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All on the ground, a sinking sun. All on the ground, a sinking sun. My faith is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and righteousness. I, there are no trust the sweetest frame, but holy lane on Jesus Christ. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand on other ground, the sinking sun. All that, that somebody who says, We all tear and say, Go for your Jimmy, Yen Yen Yansa for you, Yansa, Yen Yen Yansa. Jesus told and told Martha, Mary has chosen what is right. Yen Yafa, would you turn on the dear town? Thank God. I always thank God. I thank God for who we are, that God has also given us a spirit and um, cause us to know him the more. Yeah, Pompa, pray to your friends. A young go pony biara, a nibra young go biara, a wabiano also a young go diwa brabum. People say here, they want you to be destroyed. They want you, hey, they laugh with you. It's like some people they talk with you. Hey, some of them will buy things for you. They think that, oh, that is a good friend. Oh, I have a friend, I work with 25 years. The day God revealed that friend to me, I'm ready. I'm ready. That you many people's life have been destroyed through him. He's sitting in the church. And now here they have made him elder in the church of Pedicross. I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry, didn't even cause that. Because they don't see what is in the spiritual realm. You tell them they, they, they will be at unity. You, you sit down. You sit down. We are praying into our friends. We are praying into them. Let every demonic friend, let fire look at them. The Bible says he's a consuming fire. Open your mouth and pray. Be one on a vampire. Pray, pray into the church. Somebody say how it is. It is the church. Let me be honest. You go and read Job, Job chapter one. Read verses. The Bible said the children of God gathered and the devil came in. Go and read verse two. He said the children of God once again gathered and the, the devil is robbing. He's everywhere. When the church is cold, when the church is not on fire, they are there. They make the church their hope. If you have forgotten, go and read Mark. Jesus Christ got there and they were doing buying and selling the church. I pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Pray into the church. Pray into your friends. Pray into your family. Every spirit, every demon, every witch, every demonic agenda over your life. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. Pantereborokandi Bandaraba. Ronde Kadaba. Pantaraborokandi Zebranda Zebroda. Itata Bandoroborika Deba. Somebody pray with me. Somebody call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Somebody call the name of Jesus. Father, I pray to my friends. I pray every envious heart, every jealous heart, every spirit that is not of you, that wage war against our lives, against our ministry, against our children. I stand up for my children. I stand up for my brother's children. I stand up for my sister's children. I stand up for our children. Every spirit, every demon, everyone that wants to destroy them, all oh, by the shed blood. In the name of Jesus, we stand up. We pray build a permanent wall of fire. I pray to their lives. I pray to their friends. I pray to the friends of my children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Every evil spirit. Every spirit that contended with us. Rakande bondaraba. Ebandaraba rekande zebranda. Tandere bo rakabande zebranda. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Opio mafe pre. Opio mafe pre. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I want us to pray this prayer. And every day, one of the prayers I pray most for my children, that every demonic struggle, a struggle for, uh, from my mother's house or my father's household, every struggle I went through, I seize it. I seize it. I seize it from my children. And I seize it from my brother's children. I seize it from uh, my sister's children. Because, listen, there are demonic struggles. Hey, if you don't take care, you will think that your mother was stupid. If you don't take care, you think that your father was stupid. And until God began to reveal some of the things that my father went through and the people that caused it, there were people closer to, to him. There were people that closer to him. Some were, were family members. Until the Lord revealed to me, I thought. And so my father did everything that he was, was working for him. And may his soul rest in peace. Could you grant him? And may your soul rest in peace. I love you wherever you are. And I continue to pray for me. My, my greatest pain is that you, I, I did not grow <laughs> to honor you. 
the struggles of our father's home. I told my children, don't think your father is stupid. Don't think your father is stupid. Hey, some of the things that we are going through, I pray for them that they will not go through because the enemy is very lying. And so we are praying for our children. I call it the demonic struggles of your whole household. You are praying that you are breaking it. I have seen beautiful women. No man is coming on them. Hey, some of them, they walk from one marriage to another. You sit down and say, this woman is stupid. Who told you? <laughs> but yeah, and two other, and two other, and two other, and two other, and two other. Yeah, pompa, yeah, ma, oma. Say, adibi ya ukomo, haubi ya ukomo, manibi ya ukomo, pembi ya ukomo. Euradime mane ma wosu onso. Euradime mane ma wosu. Oh, pompa, yeah. You are building a permanent wall of fire around your children. The Father, I pray for them. Let the blessings of heaven come upon them. Let them increase. Let them enlarge. Let their territories be, be over and above. Hey, because, because Abraham prayed for Isaac. The Bible says Isaac was in the midst of his enemies. He saw and he was great until he became very great. Because the dad has prayed for. I every day ask you, somebody pray for you. Who are you praying for? My mother prayed for me, so I pray for my children. Who are you praying for? There are mothers and mothers. All they need to do is to teach their children. You go, you go to market and you, you see something that is bad, you buy some. Why are you sh showing them? We are praying. Pray for your children. Just open your mouth and begin to pray for them. Pray for their children. Pray for them. That every demonic struggle, every demonic pattern that has been laid in your family, in your children's life, in, in your, 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 your siblings, your brother's life, your auntie's life, every jealous auntie, every jealous uncle, every jealous well, friend, we pray the fire of Jehovah. Be one pompa e kachire ura desa ni bre umbiara. What type biara ni amani biara ukom? Odo umamu muni wongra she yesu mojemo. Odo umkra no wong she yesu mojemo. I commit them. I commit my children. I commit the entire life into you. Every struggle that my mother went through, that I my 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 sisters are going through, I pray my children out of it. Every struggle that my father went through that I am going through. I pray my children out of it. I pray my siblings' children out of it. I pray. Hey, they will disgrace you. They will destroy you. And they begin to blame you. They are very wicked. They are very wicked. The same people who are the cause, blame behind. They will come and blame you. We are praying in the power of the Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. Every Serpentine spirit, every evil spirit, every spirit, rock and the bondaraba, a pantas on the bria cadaba, a panderebo rock and the name of Jesus, in 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 the name of somebody pray call the name of Jehovah, Rantecaba, a pantaraba, rock on to Zobra, a pantasi branderebo, a panderebo rock and disandereba. Pray for your children, pray, open your mouth and pray that they will not go. They will not suffer. The Lord will cause their feet to tread upon a land that God has prepared for them. They will be the head and never be the tail. Every demonic struggle, every demonic pattern that the enemy has laid within the family, within the foundation, we break it. We break it. Magnus, your children. Magnus, my children. We commit the favor of God. We commit the presence of God. Open your mouth and pray. Be one of Catch the vision. Or the saying of uh, 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 Solomon in the Christian system uh, will never come to pass uh, in your, your children's life uh, that they will sit at wrong places, uh, that their position they will not occupy their position. Push your children into their position, their divine destiny, their so called destiny that God has prepared for them. We pray, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I pray, I pray. I pray. Jesus in the name of oh, Jesus in the name of oh, Jesus in the name of oh, Jesus in the name oh, Jesus in the name of oh, Jesus in the name of oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus spirit that destroy spirit that move from generation to generation let it stop from you let it stop from your family pray against every demonic spirit that move 
that destroy children, that destroy family. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Pray for your children. Pray for them. Pray that every serpentine spirit, every evil spirit that want to devour them, every demonic pattern that have been laid in your mother's family, that have been laid in your father's family, I call it demonic struggles. You are seizing it. Let it stop from you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Every evil spirit, every envious spirit, every jealous spirit, every evil spirit in the hearts of people concerning your children. Rante kabo, e pantara ba rante ka, e pandoro bo rante ka na ba, e tantoro bo rekande ba ndere bo, e mantara ba e bronda zeda ba, e tantara ba ndobriya kada ba, e sondoro bo rakende ba, e tantara ba ndobriya da ba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, e tantoro bo rekande ba, rundi kada ba, e tantere bo rendi kada ba. Father, we thank you. Let's pray. Our last prayer. Seal your life with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hey, the, the greatest weapon that God has given to we Christians. There are three. There are two. And only the two work you know, through the third one. One is the name of Jesus Christ. And two is the blood of Jesus Christ. But the name and the, the blood works through the Holy Spirit. The name, the name and the blood work through the third one. The Holy Spirit. And so you want to seal your life. Build a permanent wall of fire around your life. Your spiritual life. Again, life is spirit. And if you understand this from this point. you If you are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. You serve him in faithfulness and in truth. You walk in righteousness. Seal your life. Build a permanent wall of fire with the blood of Jesus. You know that God told the Israelites when you read uh, Exodus 12, mark your doorpost with the blood of Jesus. When the destroyer comes, when he sees the blood, he will pass over. Hey, nobody can break through the blood of Jesus Christ. In the Bible says, even in, in heaven, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus Christ is powerful, it is fortified, it can never be broken through. It, it, it's it is one, that one that conquered for us. And so seal your life, plead your life, cover your children, cover your children, cover your family, cover everything because the devil is a liar. He comes to steal. Last night I, I had a dream after a long night prayer, a long night prayer after, after over four hours to five hours prayer. I slept and I saw somebody want to come and steal my TV. She stole the TV and went and put it outside and I went and took it back. And I chased them and I went and beat them. And then I see first and come on the chin and see a chance you only have poor mom a bay for no because we know where they are. We know where they are. Yeah, poor mo. Yeah, poor mo. Um did you sorry mo the team and temo? Oh don't look at the education and think that they are we they are wicked. Um to what thing? Um to what thing? Yeah, me chill out. Let's take this announcement. And that those those who are I promise that I'll give those who are watching us, I promise that I'll give you the numbers that you can help EB Radio. 